All right, can you guys hear me better now? Can you still can you hear me now? Is that better? Okay, perfect. Audio on now, yes. Okay, perfect. So here, I'm gonna, so just so you guys can see, Dorian's actually here with me, but we are in Puerto Vallarta on a little family vacation. Let me show you Dorian. Hey. <laughs> Can't see me, it's all dark. Oh, oh hey Dorian. All dark, still dark. <laughs> Anyways, so we're here at Puerto Vallarta, but basically I'm doing a new format um, for my Ask AW show where every Saturday at 2 p.m. I'm gonna do a live Ask AW uh, questionnaire, you know, question and answer session with you guys. So it's actually technically 4 p.m. here, um, but... And where, uh, where are the questions coming from and so what are you doing? The questions, just so you guys know, is I'm basically just pulling it up from my last Ask AW show. And um, so the questions that you guys top voted, I'm gonna start to answer. And then if you guys have any questions, um, definitely just message me that as well. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, <laughs> sorry, this is new. We're still trying to figure it out. Basically, Ashley's going to use all of the previous Ask AW questions that have been upvoted the most and answer those, as well as whatever live questions you guys have. So it should be interesting. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, because it's kind of new, this is a little more my idea than hers, obviously. So, all right, so where do we see some questions? Okay, so I've got some questions. Well, a lot of these are just saying that you, um, that they really love you in the video. Um, they love the back and forth whenever you're in the video as well. Hold on, hold on, here we go. Okay, so uh, any advice for someone um, that has big legs and loves wearing jeans? Of course, yes, so you wanna actually- You just... answered this before. Yeah, I'm constantly getting asked this with jeans and bo based on body types, so I'll let you guys know that if you have bigger thighs, you wanna go with a straight leg jean. Straight legs usually have a lot more room in the thigh, and then from there, you can always taper it down from the knee to the ankle slightly, but for the most part, you want um, a straight leg jean all the way through from your thighs down to your ankle. And then as far as tailoring when they buy it, you want it, want it to fit your thighs first. Thighs first because you can always have a tailor take it in from the, uh, from the knees down to the ankle. And at the waist And as well. at the waist. It's a lot easier to do that. Why am I not more famous yet? <laughs> Gotta work. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel pretty special with all the subscribers that all the support that you guys have been giving me. So I feel famous already. We're doing our best. They're having a blender around here. There's no good Wi-Fi here. This is what you get. So maybe better luck next time. Sorry, we'll it's see. a little noisy. Yeah, in the it's noisy. We're doing what we can. This, is, making, this is it. Yeah, they're making a lot of margaritas here and strawberry daiquiris. It's so a lot of blending. <laughs> All right, so this question, um, so, Oscar. Okay, okay Oscar so Oscar asked, asked uh, you talked about sunglasses before. What about eyeglasses? What kind of frames do you recommend? Well, basically, I mean, if you go to my whole sunglasses story, the type and the shape of frames that you want to choose is going to be based on your face shape. So um, that's never going to change. So my sunglasses story is still very relevant for eyeglasses. We are going to do a whole eyeglass story in the future, though, specifically about recommending you know certain optical brands that we really love and shapes that we really love. But um, check out the sunglasses story because that definitely will at least let you know what shape you should get for your face shape. Is there any acceptable street style for younger people? Big question that's been asked in a lot of the comments, especially of your most popular video right now, which is the 21 things men should never wear yeah. and or the things men wear that women love. So, answer. Okay. Because the, the thing I keep seeing is that people are like, yeah, but I wear long shirts. You, I should never, I could never wear what you're suggesting. And it's like, well, there's style versus fashion. Fashion is one yeah. thing. You like that too. Yeah. But it's not something you would recommend at the No, I think, I think that for, and especially for the channel, I want to make sure that as many men as possible, regardless of your age or your body type, will look fantastic and look put together. Now, I do think that there, if you are a guy that wants to be more, like have more of a street style, that's totally fine. That's you. But that's not what my channel's about. But yeah, I mean, street style's fun if you're a younger guy. Um, it doesn't matter. It's it's what your style is. I'm just trying to help those that haven't figured out their style and maybe identify more with, you know, just classic, um, timeless uh, sense of style. 
Here's a good one. Okay, so uh, would it be okay to go with Chelsea boots and chinos? So together, um, yeah, perfectly fine. I love a good, especially like a good uh, dark green chino with a brown um, chukka boot. I really love that. Or like a brown chino or a blue chino with some brown uh, Chelsea ch boots. Oh, He's Chelsea, asking ch oh, Chelsea, Chelsea. I thought chukka. he said chukka. Sorry, no. Chelsea boots. No, I like a Chelsea boot either with a suit or with some dark wash or black jeans that have to be really slim though. Um, Chelsea boots are definitely something that are a lot more difficult to pull off and you really need to nail the fit of your pants. So, but no, not with chinos. Uh, how long, this is a good one from okay. Scott, Scott, Scott Pogrom. Okay, so how long <laughs> will your style essentials stay in style? Well, my wardrobe essential series is a year long, like it, our, we did that series for a while and that is all based on timeless classic pieces that will never go out of style. So, I mean the whole beauty and the reason why we kicked it off, like my whole channel, we kicked it off with the wardrobe essential series was because we wanted to make sure that the content would be relevant years and years and years from now. So. That's why I always say start there because those are just pieces that will never go out of style and you can always wear. Uh, let's see, here was a good one. Alright, so hey Ash, can we get a series about haircuts and hairstyling? I feel like I have my whole look down except for my crappy hair. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hair is a tough thing. So actually, I'm really excited because the next series that we're gonna be doing and that we're currently doing a ton of research and I'm talking to a ton of my friends that are groomers for, and groomers are basically people that do hair and makeup for all the actors out there. So I know some of the top groomers in the world that work with amazing, amazing A-list actors. So I've been picking their brain about this whole series and I will definitely, that is definitely gonna be addressed. Haircuts, hairstyles, um, skin, anything, like all of the grooming, anything grooming related, we will be um, I, we will be doing a whole series about very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's see. Go to your, let's see the top voted questions in the last Ask AW. Okay, so, okay, uh, I will, Top voted. Top I mean, voted. You do by most popular. Right? I did. Okay. So a lot of it is comments. <laughs> okay. Well, find a good question. Okay. Well. Series on hats, fedoras, etc. Maybe we'll run oh, out of things to do. This is fantastic, actually. Hold on. Oh, are you ever going to do a series on hats, such as fedoras, uh, trophies, etc.? Hats. Um, we run out of stuff to do. Yeah, that's something I think that's very specific. Um, so once we kind of address everything that we have on our list right now, which is a very long list of things that I want to just address and do videos about, um, then we'll get to hats. <laughs> but go, Gentleman's Gazette does a lot of stuff about that. Uh, Raphael over there, that's definitely like more on his tip. So definitely go check out Gentleman's Gazette, um, their, his YouTube channel if you haven't seen that yet. Okay. All right, is that a good question? All right, yes. So, Ask me, Debbie, what specific type of lightweight fabric would you recommend for sport coats and suits for guys in tropical countries? I know linen is one choice, which I love, but I feel they wrinkle too easily and hence too casual for some purposes. Well, actually, I mean, we're gonna have a really great video next for the next two weeks identifying this, but um, really great fabrics for suits and sport coats in tropical um, areas is Okay, so linen is an obvious choice, but the problem is it wrinkles, so you have to just accept the wrinkling. If you don't, I highly recommend Searsucker. Searsucker is amazing, it's so breathable, and it has that really great um, you know, striped pattern. If you don't want the striped pattern, then go with a nice cotton suit. So I love a good cotton suit. It's like very similar to a chino fabric. Those are really great as well. So for suits or sport coats, fabric wise. Lightweight wool too, right? You can Super also do lightweight. a very lightweight wool. So you want to kind of shoot for something around six ounces to no more than eight ounces. That's going to be a very lightweight, breathable fabric. Um, when you're in an area that is super hot and you have to wear a super sport coat, like that, you'll stay nice and cool and comfortable. Uh, here's one. Okay. What What does Dorian do for a living? Oh wait, hold on, hold on. There's one more that was good though. Uh, uh, about the Chelsea boot, they want okay. a clarification. Oh, excuse me, Ash, did you mention that Chelsea boots aren't for chinos? Yes. So Chelsea boots are not for chinos. I recommend them with jeans. 
um, either dark wash jeans, uh, gray jeans, or black jeans. And then you can also wear them with, you know, a suit or wool trousers, but tapered very slim towards the ankle because you don't want a bunch of fabric flopping around when you're wearing a chelsea suit. Uh, let's see. Someone had a question for me. What do, what do I do for a living? I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold the camera for me. Sure. That, that seems like it. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, so I own a um, couple companies outside of this. Um, and then I help Ashley a lot with this stuff. Um, with her like video work and all that good stuff. So I do a little bit of everything. Entrepreneurial oh, life, that's how it's been. I was an executive in entertainment for a long time and I said, F that, I'm done. <laughs> so I went back to my roots and started my own companies again. All right, let's see. Did you have a good one? I'm I'll, an still looking I'll answer for a question it. here. Yeah. Let's see, do I lift? No, I do yoga and a lot of swimming. That's my stuff. I blew out my shoulder doing CrossFit a couple years ago and try and stay away from weights as much as possible. Oh, here's, here's one that's come up a lot. Will you talk about black men's hair in the grooming series? Yes, 100%, actually. And um, what happened in the last video I that feel, you did? Okay, I feel really bad about this, but it was a... Okay, so my video, which is the top five hairstyles that women love, it was a really quick video that I did that was just supposed to... I just, like, quickly just put it together, and I, I got a lot of comments criticizing me for not including black men hairstyles. And curly hair. And just super curly hair as well. Rightly so, I brought Which, it up. Oh. I was like, dude, what happened? There's like more than one style, one one type of hair out there. That was totally my bad. But again, that was just a quick, like dipping my toes into the whole hairstyling video thing. But I actually will be addressing this, um, everyone's hair type specifically in depth for the next grooming series. Okay, good. All right, you have a question? Not yet. Okay, I'll find <laughs> some. I'll it. find some. Okay. I, we get a lot of questions. What do you think about Thursday boots? We get asked this all the time. All the time. I, I um, asked Thursday if they wanted us to review, and they said maybe, and then they just kind of did whatever. I mean, dude, you, you, have, you get like 50,000 pairs of boots a week from every yeah. thousand other companies. I have my favorite company yeah. that I love to work check with out the for boot, my clients. Check out the boot story, the boot video. There's really, really, really good ones out there. Thursday, we've never really heard of until you started doing I, this. So. No, I've only heard of it because um, I see so many of the YouTubers and bloggers out there doing, you know, like sponsored videos from them. That's the only reason why I even know about yeah. it. But outside of that, I've never, in my industry, I've never heard of them. And I've never worked with them so, with my clients. Maybe someday, but don't really have a need. There's maybe be probably better slash just as good out there that's in Nashi's boot um, story. So check those out. Those are just as good, if not better, probably. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Is there? Probably. I don't see Donald Trump behind <laughs> us. <laughs> In Mexico? <laughs> Is he trying to get those pesos to pay for that wall? <laughs> <laughs> what do you recommend? Oh, this is good. You guys have a lot of great questions. What would you recommend for bald men fashion? Same as everything? Yeah, Just same as everything. wear your head with it? Yeah, but maybe when How you're do you outside... Do a hairstyle? Okay, do a hairstyle then for a bald, balding man. Oh, I say man. completely shave it off or buzz it off, like really, really short, like Jason Statham or The Rock. Um, those guys are so sexy and, and have embraced the lack of hair. I think that's so much better. And then if the only other thing that you could do um, specifically for your style that would actually help per, like protect you from the sun um, would be just incorporate like a really cool fedora or some kind of hat like into your outfit but okay. but all of like there's no specific style for bald men yeah okay you have a good question um yes so not that one. Oh, well oh well, that's a good one so someone asked me um hey ash where did you study fashion so actually i have a whole about section on my website um it's called the frequently, frequently asked questions like and that, that, that question gets asked a lot check it out but long story short where did you come from okay so i actually got my uh, master's at ucla in education and i was teaching high school math before i transitioned into styling um and it was weird because just, you know, teaching, everyone thought I was a new student because I looked so young. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like kind of weird to have to be there, be, you know, to let them know like, oh no, I'm actually your teacher. But, um, oh, 
Look who's Hi. here, my sisters. <laughs> oh, there's Scarlett, my twin sister Vanessa, her girlfriend Alex, Hi. right over there. Oh, the Weston girls have come and joined us. They're all primmed and, you know, makeup, everything is on. Yes. <laughs> I know, they totally photobombed me. All right. So, uh, okay. Here's a good one. Hey guys, um, just had a question about briefcases. Do you think it's appropriate to carry an attache uh, briefcase around school? Are you working in law on your school, yeah law school, school, business school? Like, if you're just in college, carry a backpack. I mean, or you can get, like you suggested, sort of like a hybrid briefcase that has yeah. like straps on it. It uh, has a strap on it, so you can kind of get away with it there. But like carrying like a straight up old school like briefcase, yeah, a little bit. I mean, if you want, if you want to really go for that old school look, nothing wrong. Just own it, I guess. But yeah. not really the first thing you would think of when you think of a college student walking around campus, especially if you have to lug a lot of stuff really not the most comfortable. Yeah, it almost, it feels like, you know, if you try to wear a suit, like, to class, it's like... <laughs> it might be a little much. Like, it, it kind of rubs people the wrong way, too. Like, yeah. you need to dress appropriately for each setting that you're in. So yeah. you got to adjust, always. Yeah. This All is right, what is your opinion about destroyed jeans, Vanessa? Uh, what is your opinion? I Just, like, well, I don't like destroyed jeans. No, I don't think any woman really likes a guy in just completely ripped up um, jeans. It's a younger guy thing, right? It's definitely, a, that's a boy thing. That's like a skater boy, like a little punk boy that wants to do that. But an actual woman does not like a guy in straight jeans. Go with some nice dark wash jeans instead that are free from any fraying or rips. <laughs> and I think you have a whole video and article about this. I have a whole video and article <laughs> about the best jeans out there and how they should fit as well. So go check that out. Um, Let's see. Is Scarlett single? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, she is. Scarlett is single. If you have watched my other videos with Scarlett in it, I have made that very clear. And I also listed her Instagram handle in the video description. Go check it out. Oh, thanks for saying my family's cute. They are. <laughs> Okay, so uh, someone said, I think you suggested Johnson & Murphy in your shoes. Great choice. Check out Jack uh, Okay, well. okay. It's a plug. Oh, holy crap. Family goals. Yes. The Weston women are very no. cute. Scott Pilgrim is asking the same question. Oh, is there some other place we can contact you for advice? This is it. We're doing this from now on because the problem was is that you were getting bombarded 